scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Whether you give out the solution free or you sell it, the moment there is a dispensing of a solution from you, there is a trigger. Notice what it said in 1 Samuel. The king had given a decree whoever takes care of goliath immediately the king starts acting are you getting my point and he will give him great riches and his daughter and set his family free hallelujah so the reward system of the kingdom is not just built around prayers trust me i pray but i'm telling you the reward system of the kingdom is not going to come by praying and fasting 100 days alone the reward system of the kingdom is not built entirely on favor are you getting me now lots of people like favor i love it too but let me tell you sustainable wealth is not built on favor through wisdom is a house built by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every pleasurable thing hallelujah many people in the body of christ i said it the week before miracle service while we're dealing with patri that many pastors do not even know why they are rich they think they are rich because they are serving god yeah that's true but it's not so they are they are wealthy because they are offering spiritual value are you getting what i'm saying now there is a transformation happening to you right now as i'm speaking to you i'm opening you to understand the structure of the kingdom are you getting my point now you are receiving impartations i am dispensing to you so my reward is tied to my solving problems if pastors knew this they will know their prosperity is not tied to their members and they will stop yoking members with all kinds of things gimmicks here and there if i teach you the word of god in truth and sincerely as a minister of the gospel i'm teaching in sincerity and truth and i am not blessed then god has lied the reward system of the kingdom are you getting me now do you know why i'm teaching you this because not everybody is called into the fivefold and the way pastors have taught the prosperity message you will need to be a pastor to prosper by that message what if you don't have a crowd are you getting my point but when you understand that the reward system of the kingdom is built around solving problems we are going to connect it with the personality of the holy spirit in you and you will see why every believer should not be poor hallelujah number three a problem is an invitation for a reward the problem a problem is not an obstacle that comes to kill you every time you see problems around you around the society it is God inviting you for a reward a problem is an invitation they saw a champion that cannot be conquered David saw a Philistine he was interested in knowing the what and what would happen hallelujah challenges and problems are an invitation to be rewarded this is how the kingdom is built 
Pharaoh had a problem. It was an opportunity for the lifting of Joseph. Is that true? Daniel came as a solution. The king had a dream. No one could interpret it. No one could even, he could not even remember it. But Daniel came. He solved a problem. Are you seeing that in scripture? Don't just think those guys were just selected by God to be rich just like that. They solve problems. Whoever kills Goliath, the king, gives great riches and sets his family free. Are you learning something tonight? A problem is an invitation for a reward. Number four, I just want you to write these facts down. The problem you solve decides your significance in this life. Manda brati shalakabaya. The problem you solve decides your significance. Your significance is not tied to your background. It's not even tied to your ability to speak in tongues. Your significance in life is tied to the problem that you solve. That means that you are not insignificant because of your background and so on and so forth. Jesus was born in a manger. A few people came, but when he was exiting the earth, there was a crowd watching him. Had nothing to do with Nazareth. Hallelujah. Your significance is proportional to the problem that you solve. Your relevance and your significance is tied to the problem you solve. That means every time you find yourself suffering from inferiority, from complex, prayer is not the only problem. There is something you can do that can bring you out of that realm. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. There is something you can have that will make the king send for you and they will bring you out of certain realms. Is God speaking to someone tonight? I just want to bring these points the way they are and I pray that you recognize and appreciate what I'm sharing. There are some of us that in our families we are not the firstborn but aside from our parents we are the ultimate determinants of what happened in that family. You know why? Because your significance in that family is not just tied to the age and the hierarchy it's tied to the problems and the solutions that you are providing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. The problem nearest to you is your exit out of your current season. The problem nearest to you. Every time you say, Lord, where is the door out of this problem, out of this situation? Start looking at the problem near you. That's the finger of God saying, get out. This is your door. I was teaching the students in the school of ministry and I drew a door. Those who are students here, what do we call the door? Problems. That's the name given to the door that brings great men out. What I'm sharing with you may sound very simple, but trust me, this is why there are lots of broke failures in the world today. The problem nearest to you is your exit from your current season notice you are where you are today your limitation is the limitation of the solution you provided last and if you do something higher you will rise out this is powerful this is profound watch this to the glory of God and with all humility this ministry is at the level that it is according to the progressions of the solutions are you getting my point now? I was I was at Pastor Pete Rock's place last week. It was a wonderful moment, by the way. Please celebrate him. Him and his wife they treated me so well. It was it was a wonderful time. I went to preach for him at his um, appreciation appreciation um, service and. It was wonderful when I went there and I saw the expansion within a period of two years. The 
expansion the increase the excellence i said this is it it's a law it's a law it works are you getting my point now when people come with results you know why there are so many of you sitting here and inside and outside some of you came as critics some of you came to confirm what you had some of you came because something happened to somebody around you and you could not deny it it was too notable are you getting my point now some of you vowed the first time you heard of koinonia you warned yourself warned your friends warned everybody here you are you know why because it's a dark world full of needs this keeps us in the market forever are you getting my point now our advantage is the darkness of the world this is what keeps us in ministry that's why the bible says when you see darkness arise and if you shine very well even gentiles will come to that light and a time will come kings kings will see people coming this is how a church grows this is how god showed me gentiles first come a time will come it will be so notable kings will start coming see it that's what the bible said gentiles a day will come kings will come are you getting my point now and it will be a privilege for them like sheba they will come with their gifts to honor the excellency of the wisdom and the hand of god upon your life i want you to know that prosperity is not a myth it's not a legend it's not a miracle it's not a mystery it's a formula gentiles gentiles do not come to see you they don't care about you it is your light they are coming for and kings to the brightness of your rising hallelujah i just shared with you a powerful revelation i have some deep revelations that the holy spirit put and he told me one time i had a vision pastor and i saw lots of white men he wasn't this meeting i don't even know if he was in this city a lot of white men people coming and i saw all kinds of gifts and rewards and i was flattered i was wondering i said goodness and god said you just continue what you are doing and see where it will end you do you know this is how great men started nobody gives you any guarantee to start ministry you don't find a thousand members signing form and say just start it's not political party that says i will vote for you there is something that gives you an audacity so when there are three people you can be preaching you know that the world is too dark for you to be ignored so you can criticize a man your problem will push you you may hate me but there is this treasure god did it in such a way you can't take it without me we must go together if it's in a plane we'll go together i have a very big god oh. he is always by my side a mighty God. Oh. By my side, by my side. There's one part. Satan, come out for oh yeah. There are two ways to bind the devil. One is by prayer, another is by revelation. There is an understanding you can have that makes the presence of Satan become a mirage in your life. It doesn't exist anymore believe me somebody's spirit is fired up when you ask god for a new season a new dimension or greater significance he will reward you by empowering you to provide greater solution are you getting that every time you say lord i am tired of where i am take me he won't just come and just lift you vaguely he will empower you to solve more problems so when we start praying and say lord bring increase for us in koinonia and bless us god will give us an ability to raise only three dead people do you think there will be increase three dead people alone confirmed when that happens you will come here 12 o'clock and sit in the overflow let me tell you something get what i'm saying it's a very powerful principle it has nothing to do with ministry it applies in every area of your life remember the story i shared with us can you remember the story in enugu is in enugu one of the places pastor there was 
something like a bomb blast and muddy water started coming out of the ground and it was healing the sick when when jake sent the video to me and i watched it i started i i first felt sad but later on i started rejoicing it is a turn to shine hey it is a turn to shine no devil will stop it it is a turn to shine it looks like this is arrogance it's not arrogance it's confidence that comes from something that is not even of myself remember i shared with you two scriptures i'm about to connect because he said upon daniel was the spirit of the gods if you have if you catch the revelation of what i'm sharing you can sit down with a cup of gary and be dancing like a madman because you know that it's a matter of time you are getting out of you will snap yourself you will make sure you you document it because the book you will write from it alone will bless you money is not a miracle nor is it a mystery but a reward for solving problems money i insist is not a miracle if you get miracle money your bank account is a sign and a wonder it's just a language god is speaking become a master's problem solver a master problem solver and you sign out of a life of poverty forever become a master problem solver just write what i'm telling you you are either a problem solver or you are a problem yourself you are either solving problems or you are creating them you are either solving problems or you are the problem yourself hallelujah when God wants to promote you he gives you a greater problem to solve write this and style it you will need it in your life when God wants to promote you he will give you a greater problem to solve so when it was time to announce David Goliath showed up other people were seeing an obstacle David was seeing a door he said I didn't know it would be this fast for me to be blessed I didn't know it would take 24 hours for me to be announced what reward and they told him your family will be free you will have a wife without toasting her you will have great wealth all for free he said come on give it to me where is that mountain hallelujah are you getting what I'm saying? The size of your Goliath determines God's confidence about you. The size of your Goliath is an expression of how much God has confidence in you. Palakataya. Some of you are already thanking God for what you are going through. The size of your Goliath is how much God is beating his chest about you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The size of your Goliath. Failures in life are those who run away from problems. Never run away from problem. It's like repeating a class. Hallelujah never run away from problems it is your exit out of your current season i told you the size of your goliath determines how much god has a confidence god has confidence and then the size of your throne is determined by what kind of goliath you kill the bible says above throne there are different kinds of thrones I'm sharing with you very simple and powerful things problem solving providing solution 
Alléluia. This guy is playing this keyboard. He's solving a problem. He's providing solutions. It's easy to look at Don Muen and see what he's doing and say he's ministering. But wait till you get into trouble. And then you will see how much his songs can comfort you. You will be forced to buy it. That's why they never go out of the market because they didn't sing their opinion. They just sang the word of God which abides forever. You see that? So a song that was sung in 1980, they know it will still be relevant. I can, I can, I can sing a song that is dependent on my understanding at that time and it will expire when I grow. But when you sing the word of God directly, that was the secret of people. It's still a secret of people like Panam Pasipo. Lord, we are sorry. People who keep saying we are sorry forever because of the stubbornness of the inhabitants in the earth. So that's a song that will sell forever. You will need it at one point of your life. See that? Welfare department has Zobo and Donut. Immediately after the grace, some of you are going to carry your 50 naira or 100 naira and give them. You don't even know the face of the person you are giving because you are not interested. There are some of you, you don't know. I want to ask you a question. What is the name of Kenneth Copeland's church? Who knows the name of his church? Very few. How can you not know the church of a popular man? I want to show you something powerful. What is the name of Benny Hinn's church? Who knows? What was the name of Smith Wigglesworth's wife? You don't care. All you know is the problem they solved. That's what remained with you. Are you getting my point now? Are you getting my point? It's amazing. Some of you don't even know the full meaning of ENI and frankly you don't care. All you know is that you came for miracle service. Something happened to you and you gathered your whole family members and brought them. And you said, some of you just said that meeting in CGC. You don't even know the name and you don't care. And you beat your chest and say, I'm a proud member. And truly you are. Some of you may not even know my name. And frankly, you don't care. All you care about is the solution. Trust me. If you stop getting blessed here for one month, it's not that you hate me. It's that you are desperate about your problem being solved. You will corner, you will just find somewhere diplomatically. The disciples were with John the Baptist. When Jesus showed up, he did something. One, two, three. They said, John, it's not like we don't love you, but we are designed to look for solution. Are you getting this? That means... You do not look for money. It is attracted. You never try to look for money. It's a quest that will end you in futility. Something brings it. When the king sends for you. Hallelujah. This is one of the greatest secrets also of a blessed ministry when you are anointed and the people are blessed the ministry will enjoy financial supplies from those impacted is that true say in the name of jesus i have an ability to solve problems say in the name of jesus there is something i have that can bring financial rewards when they employ you, listen, every time you see vacancy, that company is telling you we have a problem. Can you solve it? Are you getting me now? That's all they are saying. Vacancy. There is a problem we have. And you now apply. In other words, you are telling them, I have the ability to solve that problem. And they say, let's test Praise God. All right. When they are interviewing you, they separate those who are going to create problems from those who will solve the problems. And they tell those creating the problems, we'll get back to you. 
there is a way you can become a money magnet and it's not by being a money monger listen it's not by putting pictures of money all around your room like a fool go and remove it if you have that kind of thing i know some of you have read the law of attraction and it's taught you godless things that one will take you to hell you don't put money all around your room some of you you have it in your laptop you when you are lying down you just put it around and you just listen to all kinds of useless songs that's not the way it works it doesn't work by covetous that is lost that is a craving that will kill you solve problems solve problems stop praying lord give me money say lord give me an ability to solve problems that's the prayer give me an ability to solve problems give me an ability i told you the problem close to you is your nearest exit the nearest exit a thief makes money without solving problems it's not solving any problem but it's making money that's why it's wrong a corrupt and wicked politician are you getting my point now makes money by siphoning from the resources if you are not solving a problem and you get rich sustainably you are doing something wrong you see the reason why those who send you all kinds of emails i was teaching the students in school of ministry when we we're talking about finance this is to announce to you you won two two million five hundred dollars huh some of you have gotten emails like that some of you are even hiding orders now you are still processing it don't waste your time those things are scams from the pit of hell it doesn't work like that that's how someone can stop you at the park and tell you come there's one money let's go to xyz all kinds of gimmicks happen in nigeria because people do not know how blessings come hallelujah it looks too simple for others to be blessed but for you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom that this thing there are spiritual laws that bring you into this truth that bring you into this thing and when you solve problems you open a gate for a dimension of blessings you may not be able to explain i see this happen all the time by the grace of god we are counseling people every monday and it keeps increasing it keeps increasing We almost get embarrassed on Mondays because people have to sit at different places. You think people will just travel from other states and just go to sit outside? People sit under, although we are working on it, but people can decide to sit under a tree and sit for hours from morning to evening to see a man for five minutes. You think people have that much time to waste? Everybody say becoming a solution there is something that can happen in your life that will make you prosperous this is the ability that uncommon ability to solve problems now turn with me to deuteronomy 8 18 and you will understand what the bible has been saying deuteronomy 8 18 thank you holy spirit help somebody in the name of jesus everyone please read is projected just write and let's save time one to read but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives you. Does it make sense to you now? What does he give you? What is the power to get wealth? Are you getting my point? So what does God give you? Wealth, he gives you an ability. And the Bible says that ability can help you get wealth. He gives you the power to get wealth. What is the power to get wealth? It's not favor. The power to get wealth is not favor. There is the Esther anointing. There are other dimensions, but that's not the power to get wealth. The power to get wealth is what came upon Jacob that made, are you getting my point? The ability that made him solve a problem for Laban. Laban kept him. He said, I testify that God has blessed me for your sake. What kind of technology happened at the riverside 
that made animals to start multiplying because they were looking at water are you getting my point now elisha had such an ability to solve problems naman carried gifts they carried everything see that's why prophets men of god in ancient times they knew their worth he sat inside the room he said who is this man king send him and let him know there is a prophet in israel is it that there is no man that can solve a problem and the king had to come and wait outside kings to the brightness of your rising and he said servant tell him to go and bath seven times that's all that's the solution man said you mean that's the solution he said you can sit down there and waste your time or go and bath and he went seven times and when he saw listen i want to show you a powerful principle when he saw that he was clean he was too grateful to remain there he came back with gifts this is what will always happen it is the reward system of the kingdom are you getting my point now the reward system of the kingdom when they were looking for money jesus taught them a parable they needed to pay their tax and he looked at peter he said peter are you not a fisherman go to the river solve a problem get a fish open the mouth of that fish you will see money inside are you getting my point that means the money is tied to your gift to your ability open the mouth of that fish there is money inside are you listening to me could it be that where you are right now is because you have not identified a solution you can provide to your world this is the reason why you are suffering complex this is the reason why when you stand before men you feel inferior because the world has not seen what you can give yet they've had your noise they've had all kinds of things no sick body has been healed from your hand you have not given anybody any wisdom any proof that the wisdom of god works in your life every time you solve problems you attract money you attract God you attract people every time you solve problems because every problem you solve has millions of people looking for the same solution they will look for you that's why we can criticize how badly people are still lining up queuing up in front of shrines let me tell you if God gives you an ability to heal only HIV you will have the largest church in the world only hiv guaranteed with proof every time only hiv if wheelchairs come you tell them you can worship with us but don't expect anything just hiv people will let it work just let it work people were so desperate that the bible says when jesus entered the city it was noised it didn't tell us those who noised it it was noised abroad that a problem solver had come he entered the house of peter his mother had a fever and he just rebuked the fever and she got up jesus became so famous so blessed because he was solving a problem he solved the greatest problem of mankind this is why he sits on a throne and has a name that is above every other name see god did not just give him the name because he was jesus i hope you know that position had been vacant through the ages that was the contention in psalm 24 the earth is the lord's it didn't say it's for jesus is the lord's whoever takes that title will sit on that throne and the bible says when he conquered death he rose up a coronation was held on his behalf the lord said to my lord sit down on that throne until all your enemies become your footstool and now he has been given that name the name is not jesus the name is lord it's an office the ultimate conqueror because he solved the problem what is the problem oh death where is thy sting he conquered death he conquered hell and he conquered the grave what are you conquering if you have not conquered anything don't blame god for you for any poverty around your life what are you conquering whose problem are you solving god is asking you a question you will never excel in anything you are not gifted talented anointed or trained for gifted talented anointed or trained 
these things must happen you either be gifted talented anointed or trained say i'm a problem solver say it i'm a problem solver in the name of the lord jesus i'm a problem solver never run away from a problem a problem is an invitation to a financial reward system the purpose of conversation is to reveal a problem and solve it this is why people talk hallelujah i sit for hours and all i'm doing is talking with people and praying and they don't just tell me their names they don't sit down and say joshua selma what is your hobby or what color of shirts do you like the moment they sit down they tell me there is trouble sir and we hope you can help us hallelujah the world is full of pain and they are willing to pay anybody who can solve it no matter how small the world is so desperate that even if you are fake you can be blessed from it they are so desperate people don't verify they are desperate even when they perceive value they pay for it there are prayer homes you drop 30,000 no stories it doesn't matter what your problem is from headache to death you drop 30,000 straight from the outer court even before you see the man of God and there are hundreds of people that troop in day and night they don't mind hallelujah can I tell you something people will pay anything anything any price there are people that left Abuja this morning. There are people that come in every week from Kaduna. Every week from Kano. There are people who have come all great distances. Because they believe there is a solution. Are you getting my point now? That means you remain relevant to the degree to which you continue solving problems. And you grow in it. You grow in it you grow in it there is a kind of problem we will solve that will attract kings kings to the brightness gentiles come to your light but it's the brightness that attract kings they have seen light but when they see it rising it becomes too notable the wise men saw a light and they started following it they went to the house of the one who had that light they saw a star and they started following the star if the star took them to Egypt, they will go. If the star took them to Bethlehem, they will go. If the star anywhere, they were not concerned about the distance. They said, we want to know who made a star to rise like this. And the Bible says, they that be wise, Daniel 12 verse 3. It says, they shall be like the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness like the stars, even forevermore. I refuse to be a failure. I found my way out of failure forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, you can be soaking Gary right now and know that it's a matter of time. There are six billion people. There is enough room for everyone. There's no room for competition at all. There are too many problems. Are you getting what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. Every hospital that is built has people because there are sick people. Hallelujah. Whose problem are you solving right now? Whose problem are you solving right now? If you solve the problem of a millionaire, you have access to his millions. This is what makes us powerful. We can solve the problem of the rich, the poor, the blind. Hiya. Let me not go faster than myself. A businessman can only solve the problem of poverty. A doctor can only solve the problem of ill health. But a spiritual man, come on now. A spiritual man now. He has an anointing and has an ability that makes him relevant in all spheres. If pastors knew this, we would not relegate ourselves to look like idiots who are just relevant in church. Come on now. There is an ability of the spirit that can make you stand anywhere and communicate the counsel of God with wisdom. They said, what wisdom is this? Jesus spoke to politicians. Jesus spoke to 
doctors of the law. Jesus spoke to laymen. He had the ability to multiply bread, fish, whatever it is. I have an ability. I have an ability. I can document my persuasion in a book and lay my hands on it and it will bring bread to my table. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's why a thief is a fool. He mocks God by stealing. With the problems in the whole world, when a man steals, he's a mockery to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Write this down. The power to get wealth is the supernatural ability of the Holy Spirit upon a believer. Just write, I'm still speaking. The power to get wealth is the supernatural ability of the Holy Spirit upon a believer to possess uncommon abilities to provide solutions. The power to get wealth, this is my definition, is the supernatural ability of the Holy Spirit upon a believer to possess uncommon abilities to solve problems. Not to solve health problems. Not to solve demon problems. If it's a wisdom problem, there is an ability. If it's a leadership problem, there is an ability. If it's an entrepreneurial problem, there is an ability. Are you getting my point now? Let me tell you, if you know this, you will honor the Holy Spirit with your life. Play with the Holy Spirit, you play with your financial destiny, among other things. Your presence is heaven to me. Very powerful song. Your presence is heaven to me you see why i value the presence of the holy spirit so much take the holy spirit away from me i'm as useless as as a chair or a chair that is broken for me the holy spirit is not a pentecostal part of me the holy spirit is my life he's the only reason why i know i can be relevant to my generation the only reason He has put a treasure inside of you that can make the whole world look for you. Hallelujah. Everybody say in the name of Jesus, there is an ability of the Spirit that is at work in me that empowers me to solve problems, that empowers me to be creative to provide solutions for the problems of mankind and it brings me into a realm of consistent unending financial reward take everything I have today I will get it back it's a matter of time all I need is the presence of the Holy Spirit and the wisdom of the word he will give you an ability this is what makes you a money magnet there are some of you that came with seats after the service you are coming to bless me with it's not pride and this is not the last time it will happen it will keep happening again and again because there is this treasure everybody say there is this treasure in earthen vessel this is why I give him glory you see why I worship him because if God does not add any other thing to me I don't he doesn't owe me anything he's given me everything it now makes sense to you why the Bible says he that did not spare his son but offered him freely will he not much more give you all things and he said I have given you the Holy Spirit what else it's because we think the Holy Spirit just makes us pray in tongues the Holy Spirit will be relevant in every area of your life hallelujah when they employ you and you solve such problem to an extent that 
they look at you and they forget about what you studied there are people who work in lagos but live in kaduna the company pays their flight ticket twice or three times every week they are not complaining and they are not tired because without them the company will die when you become that kind of person no i don't care what cause is in your village are you getting my point that that partnership with the holy spirit will bind the devil by himself a day will come this thing you see the crowd here will only be one department in e and i a day will come we will keep solving the problems bit by bit distant shores and the islands will see your life as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your life as it rises on us those who pack sewage your sock away you laugh at them but they are solving problems everybody goes to toilet and he will keep going to toilet every day predictable business true or false is that true i was talking to the school of, school of ministry students the other time and i told them if i'm to establish a business at that point i will establish a public toilet i wouldn't look for for pure water and all of the public toilet sooner or later everybody is going to need it i don't need to market it i just need to keep it there you will look for it when the problem becomes serious you will look for it it's a law you can make noise you can cut work you can smile when problems get serious people become desperate for solutions hallelujah this is swan water are you getting my point did anybody create water some people just sat down and calculated and they knew that man about is it 70 percent or there about of our body am i right it's made up of water good business that means you need to replenish it otherwise you will die and they simply package water are you getting my point now and they are making money they've been doing this thing for years till today they've not run out of money because there are six billion people goats drink water cows drink water hallelujah are you getting my point now there must be something what is business business is simply packaging your ability to solve problems so that you can meet a targeted audience and you receive financial reward that's what business is business is not about ceo first class business is the art the ability to package your value to package your ability to solve problems if you write a book you now see why jesus excuse me why jesus said i must be about my father's business you are the salt of the earth he gave you a clue to your prosperity he said you are the salt of the earth he said you are the light of the world i carry this consciousness every day pastor one day we will stand before kings we will snap before kings it will be an honor for them to snap with us we are not going to go begging men of god we will return back the dignity of priesthood not go around chasing politicians they will look for us distant shores and the islands will see your life as it rises on us. i shared with you my story i think one time when we we're having one financial series i went to one bank years ago to go and beg for a loan they embarrassed me they harassed me they insulted me they disgraced me sent me out and i laughed come on now i said one day is me and the manager that will enter and i'll go straight to his office and while i'm drinking tea they will be talking business with me it will happen 
banks look for men of God to give them loan without collateral. They call the name of the capital human capital. Where your presence is greater than 1,000 acres of land. Your presence is heaven to me. There are some of you when they employ you, they are not going to use the normal timing to promote you again. You will be too relevant. There will be an ability of the spirit in you. Are you getting my point? You will put your salary by yourself. Believe what I'm saying. Are you seeing the reason why there are many struggling youths around? Stop struggling. Master the art. Take advantage. Be like Nehemiah. With one hand, hold the sword. With another hand, the ability to build. The world will look for you. Skilled people are scarce. Genuine people are scarce. Gifted people are scarce. Don't take for granted that because you are gifted, everybody is gifted. Gifted people are scarce. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Banks are running around looking for Aliko Dangote. Running around looking for Ted Dollar and all of these wealthy people to give them loans. They are running. Running from others. Running to others. I will run to God so that every other thing will run to me. It must run to me. Everything gravitates around its origin. I will run to God and every other thing must run to me. Say I have an anointing. Let me tell you what you have very quickly. What do you have? Please write. There is always what you have. And when you can use what you have, it is enough. There is always what you have. Number one, you have integrity, right? Things that can add value. Integrity. Your integrity can solve a problem. You may not have naira and kobo, but you can build yourself and have integrity. Number two, wisdom. Number three, understanding. There is a difference. Understanding. The comprehension of how things work in the kingdom. This is called understanding. The dynamics of the operation of the kingdom is called understanding. And this is part of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 11 verse 3 it says and it shall make you of quick understanding that's what was given Solomon an understanding heart it was an understanding heart that made him wise number three number four you have gifts and skill your giftings whether from your degree whether from your talent this guy can play keyboard hallelujah there are many of you that can sing tosin you can sing you can play keyboard when you sharpen it enough you'll be amazed hallelujah there are many of you who can speak on common oratory the ability to communicate with precision That's your exit out of trouble. That's your exit out of inferiority. Hallelujah. There are those that God has given leadership acumen. The ability to lead. There are people in this place, at least I know them, who have written books and their books are about going out of this country. Pastor, we will write books. He will put an unction upon us. We will write books that nations will read. It will solve the problems of nations. It will solve the problem of governments. Say I'm a world changer. Say it with conviction. I'm a world changer. There is an ability in me. I can never be poor. Because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in me. You must refuse it. 
your ability to solve problems and to add value to humanity day and night I say this with all humility this is just a bit of my private life people interrupt my private life with all kinds of gifts at this level where we are just starting you imagine what they would do to you Jesus was just born just born they brought gifts just born just born they brought gold frankincense and man he was just born there is an ability that we have koinonia listen to me inside and outside god is speaking to somebody you are not a known entity you may not be able to speak english but there is something you have the world will excuse your inability to speak because of that thing you have are you getting what i'm saying some of us here who are students your lecturer may have insulted you you are looking at your cgpa 1.5 2.0 or you graduated with third class or pass and you are saying i'm finished don't mock god come on now you have more than that there's too much darkness don't mock god there is a wolf prosperity the world is too dark they need you they will die for what you have hallelujah die for what you have every time i wake up in the morning i rejoice because i still wake up with his wisdom at work in me i still wake up with his anointing at work in me when i'm about to counsel people shortly before they start entering i say thank you lord the wisdom is there i didn't refrigerate it i don't need to cook it this morning to walk i don't need to prime it is there it's resident inside of me and i tell the people begin to come one by one and i am amazed to see the hand of elohim tonight we are going to pray esther had something to offer many people look at esther's weak beauty but they do not know that she had courage courage if i perish i perish that was courage and with that courage she solved the problem there is someone god is speaking to do you know that if you start that restaurant you will solve a problem you have been complaining that there are many people there are plenty who told you there are plenty you know how many hungry people are in this earth everybody if i eat your food a sign that is sweet is you should see me there again if i buy chair from you don't you don't need to see me there after two years and god has been speaking to you start up that restaurant and you are there complaining and grumbling this is an elderly woman i'm speaking to and god is speaking to you hallelujah there are many of you that your hands are gifted your hands are blessed there is an anointing upon your life there is something you can do stop calling yourself adolescent stop calling yourself young adult it doesn't exist an adult is one who is not a child as simple as that once you are not a child you are an adult whether you believe it or not hallelujah everybody here has an ability to solve problems you have wisdom you have integrity you have grace if you don't have anything you have an anointing of the spirit you can educate you can teach there are schools that are resident in many of us right now schools that will be built there are homes there are institutes there are leadership institutes there are real estate moguls that are sitting down here some of you are just sitting down the bare land you are seeing in nigeria that you call a village is your inheritance that's where god will keep you and you will shake creation with your wisdom there are inventors there are all kinds of people sitting down listening to me and god is speaking to you and then there are men of god those who have been anointed to push back the darkness as if satan does not exist and we will keep doing it whether we do it free do it free don't ask people to pay for anointing you still mock god they can pay for your products they can pay for 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 your book or tapes and cds it is based on this revelation we can give all our messages free you know why because god will still reward us it is the reward system our concentration now is to bless you let me tell you the truth when you are blessed some of you 
some of you tomorrow you are the ones who will come and sponsor you will set up a whole studio for ENI you will do it single-handedly as a show of gratitude thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for he has given you the power to get wealth what did he give you the power that means it's within you right now if you are born again the power to get wealth is within you let me tell you the name of the power to get wealth the ability to solve problems say it the ability to solve problems sweetheart you make bed sheets stand up please this lady makes beautiful bed sheets she made one beautiful bed sheet for me do you know how many people will be willing to buy that bed sheet matilda and sandra they started i think and ella also they started making sobo three days ago yesterday they received 200 percent increase on their business because they started they focused on adding cucumber flavor to their sobo i took it school of ministry student did you take it respond you are looking as if you didn't take it hallelujah when welfare started making sobo here they started making money stop praying give me money stop being angry with your uncle be angry with yourself provoke yourself to to get out of that season hallelujah there are so many people who can address listen listen this is very important there are so many people right now who have the ability to solve the problems in their homes hallelujah extra moral center do you know that there are people who can have an extra moral center huh? an extra moral place that teaches twenty five thousand in abuja people are paying over twenty five thousand just for lesson are you so dull did you get a in english why are you still sitting down you know how many people are struggling to get c in english imagine that you have an extra moral center packaged with excellence and you are teaching people just maths and english that's your own don't go and teach french or or crs no i know you're a christian just teach maths and english and tell the people don't laugh i'm very serious i want to challenge you because you are going to pray shortly tell the people guaranteed maths and english for your wayek Twenty-five thousand. if you have 10 students you don't need a mic 10 students how much is that Two hundred and fifty thousand. that's what somebody in the oil company receives that we call a big boy am i challenging you there are some of us you have big laptops in your in your rooms and your homes you're just watching it you have one desktop can you not set up a business center set up something in your room you don't need ac forget about that false life people are not they, they don't want to know if you have suit or you can speak english can you print can you type that's all they care about there are some of you that are makeup consultants it's just that you are average you are average the only face you make up is your own you can rise to excellence people pay thousands of naira and dollars so that they can make them up i'm showing you that the power to get wealth is resident within you you will have to stand up he said awake thou that sleepest and christ shall give thee light there are some of you that cook you can bake but you don't want to improve yourself your wealth is there there is power to get wealth are you listening to me there are some of you god has blessed you with some small money hundred thousand five hundred thousand two or three of you can come together buy a golf buy a golf work with either the protocol department or anybody get responsible drivers put it on the road pastor the person that drives me with just within last year within last year he changed his car twice he just takes me on charter around twice 
there are many of our parents that cannot afford 5,000 naira to eat well at home but they have over nine cars scattered outside one the tire is on top of the car the other one the 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 the, the, the suspension has scattered can't you fix it and patch it and put it on the road anything that is in your life that you are not using and you are not putting to use is a waste hallelujah there are some of you you can even start even if it is akara and pap you see the problem with nigerians is this fake life that we have listen to me if you don't repent from it you will die a broke failure i'm not insulting you i'm just challenging you someone can buy a shoe of forty thousand Huh? buy a suit of of hundred thousand do you know how much the people who make akara you know how much they make in a day some of you after this koinonia right now you are marching straight there you alone you will buy over 300 naira akara yam you eat part of it today wrap the remaining eat it in the morning They make money every day. Some of you can go into retailing. Go into retailing. Retail pure water. I'm challenging you. I'm not the kind of preacher that will just tell you take, take, receive. No, no. Rise up and be productive. Solve problems and be rich. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? There are some of you sitting down here. You have two or three clippers in your house. How many heads do you have? How many times do you bab in a week? Flamboyancy that's not bringing results in your life. If you carry one of those clippers and you go and put it, give somebody, go and rent a shop around. Hallelujah. Popcorn machine. There are about 40,000 students in ABU, Samaru campus alone. How many popcorn machines do we have? I don't think they are up to 20 in that whole campus. How many saloons, ladies? How many lady heads do we have? At least 10 or 20,000. How many saloons do we have? I'm showing you how believers do not rise up to take responsibility. Car wash. Car wash. A car wash joint some of you can have a car wash joint i didn't say go and wash cars set it up and get people you think it won't work they gave you scholarship of two hundred and fifty thousand. you went around because a lady said she likes you you went and did unwise things with the money now she has left you the money too has left you these are all the the careless things we do around the truth is for some of us god has been faithful to us some money has come in here and there but we are just careless we don't think we spend we eat it and eat our destiny if you eat what you should eat tomorrow today you will die of hunger tomorrow hallelujah poultry poultry pastor my mother started poultry with about 20 birds I think day old or week old birds 20 but today my mother's poultry is enough to feed the family who is God speaking to tonight that the power to get wealth is resident within you the power to get wealth is resident some of you are graphic designers you are excellent you are just sitting down hoping that one day you will announce yourself where is the one day the media department is looking for excellent graphic designers are you getting my point they are paying people some of you make shirts my friend Ejimi, it was in this zaria a point came he was taking contracts of about 1.2 million every year guaranteed to make shirts shirts that you make creativity some of you plot you are just not serious you plot as occasion serves you. When someone wants to plot and you are saying, I'm watching film because you have not seen that it can employ you and bless you. 
Hallelujah. Do you know that this work that the protocol is doing, there are, there are institutes that are logistic. Is that true, Pastor? When you are organizing crusades, weddings, or programs, you contract it. Aaron is here. Aaron works with a, a, a newspaper company in Abuja. But Aaron also has his company, Third Lord Projections. They are into event management. So don't be angry when you see him blessed. He's not just praying in tongues. He's solving problems. Together with Victor, they have managed, they have managed a lot of weddings that happen in this area. Some of you have that ability. The power to get wealth. God gave it to you. Some of you are excellent editors. You are so good. Some of you are brilliant. You can set up a school. You can set up one of our one of our people in the prayer band here, Josiah. He spoke to me and we spoke with him. Right now, as I speak to you, he has set up a tutorial center where he's serving. It's called Zenith Educational Center. I, I guided him, helped him, and prayed on it. He has set up a tutorial center. Zenith Tutorial Center. Look at the beautiful name. He brought one kind of name for me. I said, what is all this? It's a tutorial center. Give it a beautiful name. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to somebody here? What do you have in your house? You will use that thing to solve a problem and get yourself out of here. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Please, I want everybody to pray. We are wrapping up this session and we really are going to pray. You must crystallize this that I'm teaching you. Hallelujah. Instrumentalists, help me. In the next five minutes, you are going to cry and say, Lord, that ability of the spirit that is locked up inside of me, that thing that came upon me when your anointing came, you can keep falling and rising, falling and rising, falling and rising, and nothing will change. But tonight, I want you to pray. There is something you have, your musical ability, the anointing God has given you. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I like you to pray, pray, Koinonia. Shake it, take 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 it, where there is no problem outside inside cry to god some of you are crying on behalf of your family you are saying lord this is it my father may not be working my mother may not be working what rod have you given us oh god what rod have you put in my hands Show me, oh God, open my eyes, oh God, open my eyes, oh God, open my eyes, oh God. Show me where the treasure is within me that can feed my generation, that can feed my family that can bring me to relevance please pray hallelujah hallelujah please pay yourselves into three if you can you're going to pray I'd like you to pray for the next few seconds radically in tongues. You're going to say, Lord, I call out that grace, that treasure resident within my brother, within my sister. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, we call it out. Entrepreneurial grace, we call it out. 
creativity we call it out ministerial anointing we call it out leadership anointing we call it out no room for laziness is a season of prosperity we are taking advantage of the power of the Holy Ghost at work in us to solve problems Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lastly, you're going to prophesy upon your life. You're going to say, I'm a bank of solutions. I'm solving all kinds of problems. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy it. No more inferiority in my life. I found my way out. There is something I have. Pray. Prophesy to yourself. I have wisdom. I have integrity. Prophesy. I have business acumen. Leadership skills. Prophesy. Prophesy upon your degree. It's not a waste. It's not a waste. Prophesy upon your masters, your PhD. It's not a waste. God can use it to bless you. You can solve problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please write the following books down. I want to recommend a few books for you. If you can get them, that would be great. Is Jordan around? Hallelujah. You brought the school of money. Please bring it. 10 M's of money. Matthew Ashimolo. A few books that can help you. I'm going to encourage everybody to get a book. Hallelujah. This book changed my life. Hallelujah. It's called School of Money. It's a very expensive book. It's not cheap. Many books have changed my life. This is one of them. It significantly changed my life. I think it's about maybe seven, eight thousand, seven thousand or thereabouts. It's about seven thousand. This is expensive, but this may be one of the greatest investments. You is not my book. Are you getting my point? I've been too blessed you can sit down with this book and literally change your financial future it's about 600 pages and none of the pages are useless trust me when I tell you this it's a very very powerful book it was written by Olumide Emmanuel one of my financial mentors one of the people that has impacted my life truly hallelujah 10 M's of money, Matthew Shimolo. Money will not make you rich. Money will not make you rich, Sonia Delaja. You can get the books with Jordan. Because of the cost, I, you can book with him if you want to. Jordan is our official. We don't have a bookstore. So for now, we're using Jordan to promote him and bless him. So you can book with him. I don't know how much. I think it should not be 7,000. All right. You can book with him. He can go and get it for you. Money will not make you rich, Sonia Delaja. 
the covenant of wealth bishop oyedeko you mustn't read all of them just write them the covenant of wealth bishop oyedeko the law of prosperity kenneth copeland three most important things mike mudok three most important things mike mudok school of money the book i just showed you olumide emmanuel olumide emmanuel school of money blessed to be a blessing kenneth copeland blessed to be a blessing kenneth copeland how to come out of debt david ibiome how to come out of debt david ibiome secrets of the richest man who ever lived mike modok i'm not giving you any business books there are a number of business books that can help you okay let me just give two unfair advantage robert kiyosaki unfair advantage robert kiyosaki rats to riches r-a-t-s to riches you can get the videos i think they are free would have made it available in the media but i don't know you rats to riches it will bless you it's not just one of these dog books rats to riches there are many more but this few will help you hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord for tonight we give you all the praise hallelujah praise the lord now please keep standing before i make the altar call i'll just give pastor pete one minute you just say hi to the house and prophesy hallelujah he's my friend i love him celebrate him please pastor please celebrate him inside and outside koinonia of the man all you need to do to become like that man is to follow his principle he says i know that you are a wise and discreet man that's what the scripture says and he said and the spirit of god is in you you see wisdom is not head knowledge it is heart knowledge there's a difference so most times when we come we are hearers of the word when we leave the most important key of leaving this place is to become a doer of god's word the Bible says, if you do not do, you are deceiving yourself. One version says, you are fooling yourself. I like the message translation. It says, you are cheating yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Very few preachers will teach you principles of getting out of poverty. Not just the anointing now. There's an anointing for it. But there are principles so that when you come out, you will know the way out of that city. You will know the road. You can repeat the principle again and again. If they pick you up, you don't have to look for a man to lay hands on you or to pray for you or a prophet to prophesy into your destiny. You just need the principle. If I can get the principle, I can change my life. If I can get that principle, I can change my life. Give me the principle. Just hand me over that principle. What do you do to get you from here to there? Just tell me. Tell me. One plus one is equal to two. That's all I need. If I can get it in my heart, I will change my life. I prophesy to you that you will not just be a hearer. You will be a doer of God's word. You will not just be excited about the message. You go out there and you will do what the word says you should do. As from today, when you receive instruction from the spirit, you will not forget. You will not be like that man that looks in the mirror and forgets. As from today, you will be a doer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now keep standing. I want to give an opportunity to those who have never given their lives to Christ. Listen. 
um, we believe in the salvation of souls and there are many people who probably are just coming here for the first time or others who have come and you've been struggling with a lot of things you've been struggling with sin you've been struggling with all kinds of habits and everything and some of you may have been born again at one time but sincerely you know that right now your standing is not right with God hallelujah I want to pray for you and I want to stand with you and lead you back to the cross and lead you back to Jesus Christ as I make that call please I want you to leave wherever you are inside or outside don't wait for anyone I like you to just come take a bold step and I'll pray with you right now God bless you God bless you there are people like that God bless you please make sure you don't sit back inside and outside you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing God bless you they are coming appreciate them those of you coming God bless you don't wait for anybody you're the first person make sure you don't sit back if the Lord is speaking to you inside and outside I know that there are people that need to make it right with Jesus Christ tonight we will wait for you hallelujah God bless you thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming if there are still people outside please double up and come God bless you thank you thank you don't be ashamed the Bible says whoever comes to me I will in no wise cast away this is the greatest miracle in this place tonight hallelujah praise the Lord if you are still in the crowd just find your way as I pray for you thank you I salute your courage I want you to lift your right hand and pray after me say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I thank you for the gift of salvation today I denounce sin and Satan and I accept Jesus as Lord of my life I confess that I receive eternal life in my spirit I am saved in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a wonder to my generation in the name of Jesus now let me pray with you father thank you so much because you brought these ones to bless them I honor you for what you have done in their lives you will preserve them in the name of Jesus Christ now please follow the ushers they'll have your details and they'll give you a few announcements God bless you thank you celebrate them koinonia hallelujah in a few minutes we'll be out of here please if you are worshiping with us for the first time we have a blessing a prayer and a prophecy for you I like you to leave your seat and just run out here quickly inside or outside if you, this is your first time thank you for coming thank you for coming God bless you please find your way to the front as I take the announcement don't sit back God brought you here you are special to us we want to bless you thank you koinonia celebrate them as they come thank you thank you thank you God bless you thank you for coming Thank you for coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. Keep coming. No matter how far, keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Were you blessed tonight? This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.